Hi, welcome on the, in this tutorial on circular dichroism, also called CD. Circular dichroism is a very useful technique if you're working with chiral compounds, as you're able to see perhaps their conformation uh, if you're working with proteins or with DNA. We'll be working with the JASCO 810 spectral photopolarimeter and the associated software today. Yeah. So first, we need to open the machine. There are three steps to it. The actual instrument, the temperature controller, and the pump. So, then we go on the Spectra Manager software, which you'll install when you'll get your machine. Here, in the Spectra Manager window, you'll have the choice of the possible experiments you can go through. The Spectra measurement is a simple measurement of uh, spectra around certain wavelengths at a fixed temperature. Time course measurements, interval scan measurements are measurements that change with time. If you want to do something like kinetics, these would be the type of experiments to do. Variable temperature measurements, temperature interval me measurements, temperature wavelength scan measurements are temperature-based experiments if you'd like to, let's say, do a melting curve. We will start today with a simple spectrum measurement. The first thing you'll want to do is to add the temperature controller. So you go into control, select accessory, and if you've correctly corrected your temperature controller, you will now have the auto Peltier 6 cell changer, our model, and you're able to connect it. A window will appear here on the left bottom left corner. This window allows you to control which cell you will be measuring. We will be measuring cell 1. And which temperature do you want to do your measurement? We'll be running our temperature at 20 degrees. Next step is going into this parameters window, which allows you to define the parameters of your experiment. These general parameters are what scans you wish to undertake, what wavelengths you wish to undertake such scans. The lower end of your wavelength will depend on the lamp you have and also if you have an attached nitrogen or argon tank to purge the system if you have wavelengths and lamps that produce ozone. The temperature at which you will be doing your experiment which is contrary to this temperature that we've just set. This is the initial temperature, and this is the temperature the machine will go to when doing your experiment. Your sample name. Let's call it pro mode. And where you will be storing your data. Now I've defined that I want three values to be shown here. The actual CD spectrum, the voltage, and the absorbance. So this is the sample holder inside of the instrument. You can see this particular model has six different positions. We will be using the first one. You can put a variety of cuvettes in there from the one centimeter ones to the one millimeter ones to, in our case, the 0.1 millimeter one, which we'll be loading here. Point 0.1 millimeter cavettes are a little bit trickier to handle. You will see that one of the two glass pieces has a groove in it with numbers at the bottom. 
you want to put your liquid in that groove. It can go as low as 20 nanometers. We'll use the buffer for the black. So as we pipette our volume, we want to make the drop about one third at the bottom inside of the groove. We then take the cover slit and slide it over our sample. We now have our samples inside of the cuvette. Give it a little bit of a wipe with a Kim wipe. It's now clear and use a sample holder like this. We can now place our samples in the first position and run our blank measurement. The blank measurements will be the big B here and we are running it in cell one and we can start our measurement sequence. It is normal to see variations in the CD in the blank of depending on the quality of your lamp and the, how recent the instrument is. We have an old instrument to see variations of one milli deg. Yeah. So we've used the same technique and now we've put in our sample. Now we want to pick, click on S for sample. Cell 1 is what we've decided we put it in. So circular dichroism it's going to measure the difference in absorbance by the right po po polarized light and left polarized light. So now that the spectra has been accumulated, there's a new window that pops up, spectra analysis. In this spectra analysis window, we'll have tools to analyze the different sets of our data. Or you can analyze it yourself by going into File, Export, and exporting it in one of your favorite file formats. Let's use CSV in this case. To analyze it in softwares like Excel or MATLAB or Origin.